Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about continuous heart nasal piriform capture stenosis imaging. Terminology. Continuous heart nasal piriform capture stenosis. It's a continuous heart narrowing of anterior bony nasal Passage way. Most common sign and symptom respiratory distress, especially with feeling, as in trends are applicated, nasal breath can mimic one of the tragic stenosis. Breathing problem may be triggered by upper respiratory infection, further compromising airway, cyanosis. Narrow nasal inlet on clinical exam, other signs and symptoms. Nasal gastric shoot is difficult to pass. Non nutritive sucking and nasal whistling. Happy from southern states. Nasal lacrimal duck mucosal. Intram nasal component, narrow anterior nasal cavity, nasal ulnar stenosis atresia, narrow posterior nasal passage by membrane or bone. Best two, bone CT in axia and colon. Major Deviation of anterior muscle plus minus sickening of nasal processes, abnormal muscularity, dentition, solitary, median muscle, central incision in up to 75%, triangle shape palate. This is the axial bone CT in the new bone. So the typical feature of congenital nasal piriform aperture stenosis it is overgrown and major deviation of the anterior muscle with marked narrowing of the anterior nasal passage. There is no associated hoana atresia. Again, axial bone CT at the level of the palate in the same patient. So a classic associated finding in patient with congenital nasal piriform and patchy stenosis, a solitary median maxillary central seizure, or Make an incision. Axial bone CT in a new bone with respiratory stress demonstrate congenital nasal piriform aperture stenosis, the anterior and major aspect of the maxillary are second causing narrowing of the anterior nasal airway. Coronal bone CT in the same patient demonstrate the, the narrow of the anterior nasal airway bilateral with an association set of SMMCI. <laughs> Coronal bone CT in an infant having difficulty with nose breathing so significant narrowing of the anterior nasal wall secondary to congenital nasal 
spiritual akecha stenose. Aksa bon city in an eleven day old boy presenting in with difficulty breathing while eating so severe narrowing of the piriform aperture. This was an isolated finding in a patient without an associated SMMCI. Axia bone CT in a three months also mild narrowing of the piriform aperture. Axia bone CT in the same three months old with mild congenital nasal piriform aperture stenosis. So the typical apparent of a small triangular shape had palette. This was an isolated finding in a child without an associated SMMCI. <laughs> Treatment may be treated conservative with special feeding technique. Nasal cavity eventually grow and malabsorption is relieved. Surgical intervention in patients with persistent respiratory difficulty and overgain. Resection of anterior media maxilla plus minus anterior, anterior aspects of the inferior tuponate and reconstruction of the anterior nasal orifice. PAY less than 5 to 5.7 mm in neonate may correlate with need for surgical intervention. Early literature suggests dilating without bone removal may be successful in some patients. Thank you.